Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Cullivan, and today is day three of week three of unit seven, Best Buddies. We've been talking about how living things depend on each other to survive. Now, I, Monday and Tuesday we spent learning some new words and you tried using them in sentences. Today, after I review the vocabulary words, I'm going to ask you to sort these words. Put them together in groups on how you think they go together and then tell me why you think those words go together. Okay, so you want to pay attention when we're reviewing these words so that you can go back later and put them into categories and groups and be able to explain to me why you put those words together and how they are related. All right, hmm, these are, looks like a bunch of tools that you could use to do some other things. Do you remember this vocabulary word? It's useful. Useful. Something that is helpful or full of use is called useful. Here's our next one. Do you remember this vocabulary? These two people dancing together and this these people working together. What are they called? Partners. A partner is someone you do something with or you help each other. You work together. All right, do you remember this word? I bet you do. What is it? That's right, danger. Danger is something or someone that could hurt you. Danger. How about this one? Do you remember this one? Threatens. If something or someone threatens you, it means that you feel afraid and they're putting you in danger. How about this one? Respond is when you answer someone or something by speaking or writing. You are responding. Hmm, look at these pictures. They look very unusual. Something that's not usual, that's not common, it's kind of odd or strange or weird is called unusual. Whoa, tough stuff there is another word for something that's really hard to do is called difficult. That's right, difficult is an, another way of saying something that is hard to do. Mm, remember this one? someone who hates you or wants to harm you or an animal that doesn't like another animal that's going to try to hurt them or fight them that's called an enemy someone who hates you and wants to harm you very good how about this one when you're able to do something those skills you have learned and practiced is called ability Ability is when you are able to do something. When you can do it, you have the ability. How about these plants or animals that kind of have similar characteristics? They look similar. They Maybe they behave the same way. They, their bodies or parts of their plants look the same. They are in the same species. Very good. All right, now remember, when we're done watching this video, you're going to go back and put these words into groups or categories of how you think they go together. All right, our last thing that I want to talk to you about is grammar. And we have been talking about future tense verbs. And I told you yesterday that when you have a future tense verb, you can add the word will before the verb. So you can say, I will go to school. I will do my best work. I will do all my homework. That means you're going to do it in the future. You haven't done it yet, but you're going to do it in the future. Well, when you take will and you add it to another word, you can make a contraction. So instead of saying I will, you can say I'll. Or instead of you will, you can say you'll. She will, she'll, or we will, we'll. Okay? The one contraction that's kind of tricky is when you change something to will not. 
So if you want to say, I will not eat the food, then you're going to say, I won't eat the food. So that contraction, the whole word kind of changes. It's a little bit tricky. They will not be partners. They won't be partners. All right, boys and girls, see if you can use some of those contractions in your writing today. Thanks for listening. Bye.